Hey guys, Adventure here, and in this video, we'll be going over 7 of the rarest Fortnite skins that you wish you had. We're giving away V-Bucks to you guys every single month. If you want a chance to win some free V-Bucks, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, like the video, and leave a comment down below. We'll be picking winners at random. Good luck and enjoy the video. Fortnite have released tons of skins in the game so far. And it's basically what keeps the game running. It's even been reported that Epic Games make up to $100 million a month. And for Fortnite, which is a free game, all the profits made just off of selling skins. But in this video, I'll be showing you guys 7 of the rare skins that you guys wish that you had in Fortnite. And if you have these, you're probably an OG player. At the number 7 spot, we have the Renegade Raider and the Raider's Revenge Pickaxe. The Renegade Raider is a skin that was released in Season 1 in the item shop. But in Season 1, the item shop was actually pretty different. How it worked was you'd have to reach a certain level to buy certain items. So for example, level 25 gave you a glider. So once you reached that level, you could buy V-Bucks and buy that glider. At level 30 and 35, there was a skin and pickaxe called Renegade Raider, and the pickaxe was called Raider's Revenge. The Renegade Raider skin is actually pretty OG. You see a lot of streamers using it like Ninja, Dakotas, and much more. It's a pretty cool looking skin and the Raiders Revenge pickaxe goes pretty good with it as well. Cool thing about this skin is it was only available in season 1 so a lot less people were playing the game and plus you had to reach level 30 and 35 as well something that was pretty hard for back in the day. Now I know it's pretty easy to get to level 30 and 35 because you have XP boost from the battle pass but back then it was actually pretty hard. Definitely a rare item in Fortnite that you probably don't have and if you do you're definitely an OG player. At the number 6 spot, we have the Bright Bag. The Bright Bag is actually a back bling that goes for one of the characters that a lot of people use in the game. That skin's the Bright Bomber, and the Bright Bag goes with that. But the thing is, this bag hasn't even been officially released. It's a back bling for the Bright Bomber skin that Epic will probably release in the future, but somehow, someone actually got this in the game. And in this footage here, a John Wick was actually using it on his character. The person who was recording this actually freaked out because he'd never seen this before, and rightly so, because it's a pretty awesome bag. The way that this person probably got this was there a developer at the game, or probably a hacker, or maybe a glitch occurred, who knows. Well this is definitely an awesome bag, and I can't wait for them to actually release it to the public. At the number 5 spot, we have the Christmas skins. So the Christmas event took place in around December and ended in January, and had a wide variety of skins. They were actually pretty awesome too. And there was also some pretty cool gliders and an awesome pickaxe. The best skins I reckon in this that a lot of the OG players have is the gingerbread man and the gingerbread girl. And there's also some other ones like the crack shot, codename elf, nogops and much more. Personally I reckon the gingerbread man and girl are the best ones but others reckon that the codename elf is pretty cool too. Another awesome thing they released with this event was the candy cane pickaxe. It was a pretty cool pickaxe with a lot of lights. In this event, I only got three of these skins, but I wish I got a lot more and I wish I got that pickaxe. Because nowadays when you play the game, you barely see anyone using these skins. What you have to realize is that tens of millions of players started playing this game after the event. So that means tens of millions of players didn't even have the chance to buy this skin. And I bet you the people who were playing the game when this event was out, a lot of them didn't even buy the skin. So the Christmas skins have some pretty awesome skins. At the number four spot, we have the Ghoul Trooper. The Ghoul Trooper was one of the Halloween skins that was released around October and lasted until November. This skin was an awesome skin. It was basically the girl character with the brown hair but with all green skin so she looked like a zombie. This skin was awesome as well because it was only 1500 V-Bucks compared to the other legendary skins which are 2000. I'm surprised this one wasn't legendary. For some reason Epic decided to make it an epic rarity. I barely ever see this skin in game, but I've seen streamers use it a lot, including NoahJ456. This is probably the skin that I wanted the most out of all the skins that I missed out on. At the number 3 spot, we have the wall paint skin. Now the wall paint skin is a skin that a lot of people don't actually know about, and that's because I don't think it's actually been fully released to the public yet. So the only way to get this skin is if you have saved the world and you're a founder. What's going to happen is that Epic's going to release these skins to the public only for founders who have saved the world. It's a pretty awesome skin and the good thing about it is it's also legendary. If you look at the skin it's got a pretty cool blue theme and it's also got an awesome back bling along with it too. I also like the face design that the character has too, something different from other skins that Epic have released. I can't wait for this skins to be released for founders. At the number 2 spot we have the Skull Trooper. Now this skins probably a skin that a lot of people wish they had. 
probably the most wanted skin in Fortnite's history so far. This is the Skull Trooper Halloween skin that was released in November. Basically what happened with this Halloween event, along with the Ghoul Trooper I mentioned before, the Skull Trooper skin was released as well. And it's basically the skeleton onesie costume. Nowadays, when you see this skin in game, you probably get scared because when you see this skin, you know it's an OG player playing. This is another skin that I wasn't able to get when the update was out. Basically what Epic did was they released the Halloween update in October and the event was actually supposed to end at the end of October. But due to its popularity and the growth of the game, with a lot of new players coming in, they extended it until the end of November, which is pretty awesome for the people who just got the game in November. They still had a chance for the Halloween skins, but unfortunately I didn't pick this one up. This is definitely an awesome skin and when you see it, you know you're going to get into an insane building battle with this skin because they're an OG player. And finally, at the number one spot, we have the Rose Team Leader skin. This skin is another skin that's only going to be available to founders. It's pretty awesome. I really like the color theme for it with the pink and black. It's pretty cool how she's got the hat on and the pink pants with the black top and also this exclusive white and pink back bling. This one's only also going to release to founders who have saved the world. If you still have the opportunity to get saved the world and become a founder, I definitely recommend you pick it up. It's a fun game mode and plus you'll also be able to get these skins for absolutely free. And I bet you a lot of your friends probably won't even have these skins either because they don't even own Save the World. So you'll definitely have a skin that a lot of people won't have. And another thing, the skin's also legendary. So it will definitely look pretty cool in your locker. Anyway guys, that's it for 7 of the rarest Fortnite skins that you wish you had. If there's anything I missed, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications and leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh